Hey, this is Fadia from Grounded Dolphin. I wanted to make a quick video about the time an agent was following me at the mall. So, I believe I was originally going through my ascension um, process in 2011. I believe I was, they were trying to wake me up then, but because I was unaware of all of this. Um, I don't have lint in my hair. That's gray hair. If y'all think, you know, y'all see lint in my hair. That ain't lint. <clears throat> but anyway, so I think I may have started talking about this in one of my earlier videos but every day during your path you learn more and you're able to understand things differently so I'm going to tell a story again and if you heard it before you can exit out so it started off um When I was taking my kids to the school bus, this this was the first thing that was weird, weird for me. Now I had already been diagnosed with bipolar in 2000. Uh, so I went through a series of being on lithium and every other drug you can name. Uh, but I knew that that Modivite got me some new Modivite. Yo, I be getting so off track, off test, but I didn't want y'all to see my mood right. I show, show you mood right. I got like 14 pieces just came in. I'm start selling my own motivate. People be charging ridiculous prices, so I'm just gonna start selling my own. So anyway, I was standing at the bus stop. And I put my kids on the bus, and as the bus, as I was waiting for the bus to come, I started hearing this voice in my head, a man, and he was like announcing something. He was announcing something. And I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. There was nobody around me announcing nothing, but I heard as clear as day. It was like over an open mic, you know, how somebody gave an announcement. It was like that. And, you know, I just blew it off and I said, all right, I'm tripping again. So as I put my kids on the bus and the bus pulls off, I see the bus blow up. Blows all the way the fuck up. And so I was able to hold the shit in because I was about to shit on myself. And then I just caught myself and I said, look around you. Are the mothers that's out here with you crying and screaming? That's how I was able to determine if I was having a hallucination or that was really happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. I'm having a hard summer. Uh, so nobody else was screaming and crying so I knew it was something wrong with me so I just went in the house and I blew it off and I said it felt like that um, bipolar is coming back I hope I ain't got to get on no medicine and like um, a couple of weeks later um, I was getting out of class and I went to the mall to go have lunch and I'm walking around the mall waiting for my girlfriend to come and meet me at the mall. <sighs> so, my first stop was Burlington Coal Factory. Burlington Coal Factory and um, I'm just looking at shit. I wasn't shopping. I was trying to kill time to wait for her to get there when she got out of class. So, I see these two white guys in the suit. It wasn't no black suit. It was a suit. One had a gray one on, one had a blue one on. 
And I seen them look at me and then turn their head. My initial thought was, mm, I am black. This is Colorado Springs. They could just be looking at me. So I let that shit go. And then I went to Bath and Body Works. You don't see men in Bath and Body Works, really. Just, you don't. So, I'm in Bath and Body Works, and they just walk into Bath and Body Works. Now, this triggers me. Psalm says, you're being followed. So I'm like, okay, please don't let me have a, a mania attack in this mall. I know I'm tripping. And then I go, I leave the store. Now, mind you, they are not having any bags when they get out of the store. So I leave the store and I said, I want to be in a, a place where there's a lot of people at. So I go to the food court. I get to the food court. My girlfriend walks in the mall. Um... We sitting down and I'm telling her, I said, yeah, I'm really feeling weird. Like these two white guys, they keep, they keep following me. And she was like, yo, you was fucking tripping girl again. Now she has bipolar worse than me. Her bipolar was so bad that she literally nailed the window shut in her house while her husband was asleep and set that bitch on fire. That's how bad her bipolar was. So when she told me I was having mania, I believed her. And then while we sitting there talking, guess who the fuck come walk into the food court and then sit down two tables across from me? Those same two fucking guys. And I said, oh my God, that's them again. And then, why the fuck they not ordering no food? These dudes is following me. She said... Okay, I'm not even doing this with you. Let's go. You gonna go check yourself into the hospital. <laughs> My dumb ass did. I checked myself into the mental hospital. And then the fucking doctor says to me, you are the most high functionist mental patient that I've ever met. And all my years of practice. What that sound like? That sound like somebody not having a mental breakdown to me. It's just what they're saying sounds funny to the person that's listening to it. But I got the pills. I took the pills. Didn't see them no more. Didn't see the the hallucinations no more. Didn't see. Didn't hear the announcer anymore. Yeah, kind of fucked myself. Yeah, but that was the first time agents followed me that I was aware of. Now, the reason why I'm telling this story again is because I was thinking about putting a video up. This is inside my head now. I haven't spoken to anybody about it. I was thinking about putting this video up, telling y'all something really, really fucking important. So I'm going over the uh, the way I'm going to get this information out there in my head while I'm going for a walk. So I come out the house, and a black helicopter flies. Now, this is recently, in the last two weeks. Black helicopter flies over my house, and I thought, interesting, as a helicopter, you know. Flying so close to my house. Okay. So the, the helicopter is going this way. And I was walking this way. So I didn't think nothing of it. So I get a block away from my house. And the fucking helicopter comes back. Bye. And it rolled over me again. And I said, I'm not going to do this shit like I did last time. I'm paying attention now. So I said, they got to be tapping in 
to the information that I'm planning on giving y'all. So I'm walking, I'm walking now. It's like four blocks away. They done double back twice. Now they coming again. And I said, all right, bitch, it's time. It's time for you to outsmart them. So I start singing in my head this just a dumbass song, an ignorant song that corrupts the mind. And I'm singing this song in my head, and I'm just filling my head with all these random, nonsense-ass thoughts. And that motherfucking helicopter, broop, 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 shh, left and ain't come back. Mm-hmm. I said, so, this how we gonna do this. I ain't gonna be playing nobody game. And none of them is smarter than me. So I'm going to beat the box. Taught myself how to beat the box. Now, because my third eye opened that, that energy is, is, you can see the, the energy around me. So they can hear me. It's cool. But when they get close to trying to find a person where that signal is radiating from, when you get close to me, you ain't going to find me. It's ways to get the fuck out this matrix, to beat the game, to not be a, let somebody play you, for you not to be the player. I'm giving y'all, every time I get information, I give y'all information. Every time I figure stuff out, I talk to you about it. That's good. Too. Okay. They said that's enough. <laughs>